Sophie, his 13th birthday. Gift, we've got you. Guitar, coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No, birthday tomorrow. Hotel, hotel. Guitar, reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party, relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. Uh, obviously, hard fought game. I got a lot of respect for Lamont and the way he coaches his team. They're very well coached. And then, you know, we got three guys on their staff. David McKinley was on our Sweet 16 and round of 32 teams, MAC championship teams. Walter Offit was on those teams. Uh, both those guys are on their staff. And then Aaron Foose was a staff member. On, uh, on those teams, and they're all at Chattanooga right now. So I, I met, saw them early this morning and, and uh, obviously saw them after the game. But, you know, I told them, other than tonight, I'll root for them every game. Um, so I think a lot of Lamont, I think a lot of those guys, and they're really pulling for them. Uh, I think they've uh, continued to improve throughout the course of their seven games. I watched their first game when they played Wyoming at Wyoming to where they're at now. So it was a good win uh, for us. Thought our leadership was good tonight. Thought our ability to not crack when we got hit in the mouth in the second half was much better than it was Saturday at Dayton. Thought that was a good sign. Thought we got production from all nine guys who played. And obviously Craig's out right now with an injury, but everybody played. Everybody made positive contributions. I thought that Cotton had his best game tonight. I thought that Kostelak was really... Uh, uh, his performance performance was significant, especially when the the uh, football player they added to their roster at six eight two forty five played last game and played tonight. I thought Mark did a great job there, and then uh, you know you told me with the double double. I mean he's he's really playing at a high level right now. I thought Jamon was good tonight. And, you know, Torrey made, got, made some plays on the glass. We just got contributions from Parrish, made some steals and deflections, had three steals at halftime. So we got contributions from everybody. I thought that was good. My concerns are field goal defense, 55%. Usually when you give up 55% from the field and you turn the ball over 17 times in my 25 years, you get beat most of the time. Uh, the reason we didn't was because of the things I just mentioned earlier. So we're aware of that, that that's fool's gold a little bit. I am concerned. We've got to get better. We had it coming out both ends. First half, it was post-defense, box defense around the rim. Second half, it was guarding the dribbler. It was three-point defense. It was fouling. So, you know, we're not even close to being good yet. Uh, we got a long way to go, but, I, you know, I thought it was a good win, and we made some progress in some areas individually and collectively. covered everything in that opening statement. Yeah, I try, George. I try. I try to help you out. <laughs> he helped me out. John, was there any... I was surprised that London came in with such good numbers, and you held him to one for seven, which was beyond the arc, and you forced five turnovers on him. Was that... If he had gotten his normal numbers, was... Could the, in your mind, the game could have changed a whole different uh, differently? Yeah, I mean, they're a possession or two away from winning the game. I mean, certainly could. I thought our effort on him in the first half. You know, our guys are – London's a great player. Uh, I thought he's as good an all-around offensive player as we've played thus far. And the guys probably got tired of hearing that over the last two to three days, quite honestly. And so they were amped up to play him. And you told me had the cover – and obviously ended up getting two quick fouls. So then Ivy uh, was it, was the guy we put on him for a little bit. And Jamon did a good job as well. In the second half, we put Utomi back on him as we weathered the foul trouble. But, you know, he's a load. I mean, he can score over left shoulder, right shoulder, shoot threes, deck the ball, pass the ball, score in the post, all three levels. He can score off the bounce. He's a terrific offensive player. I thought our guys did a pretty good job on him. They were really locked in on him. But also in the second half, it seemed like you, Chapman got, got, got hot, and then uh, Dixon seemed like all his points of it came in the second half. Yeah, we, we fouled too much. I'll we'll have to take a look at that. We take pride in not fouling. Fouling negates hustle. We've always been good at that over the years. That and taking care of the ball have been two themes, I think, for our teams from a national ranking perspective. Tonight... And so far this season, we're not in that ballpark yet. You know, we'll work to get there, but we've got a long way to go in those two areas. I thought a big part of us getting those guys going, Evan, was the fact that we struggled to guard either one of them off the bounce, and we got called for some hand checks, and now they're parading to the free throw line. And, you know, like I said, we're concerned about that. We've got to improve in that area.
your reaction to Tony's three-point shot with 30 seconds left? Anything he does at this point, I, I just said this on the radio, I mean, I, I think he's playing at a high level. It's really neat as a coach to see a guy play at that level that works as hard as he works. Now, I'm not – all other guys work. When we give them stuff to do, they work. What's unique about Utomi is he works on his own constantly. And I mean in every area, whether it's weight room. We got a day off tomorrow. He'll probably be in the gym shooting. I mean, he's – I always see him. It's hard to keep him out of the gym. Changed his diet, lost 10% body fat. That's hard to do for a college age student when you're on a college campus and you're 18 to 22 year old, two year olds, and you got Chipotle and Panda Express and Steak and Shake and you know all the dining halls on campus and and then uh, a little bit more freedom to what you choose to eat. Although we took a little, few, a little bit of that freedom away uh, from our guys, but you know it takes discipline. He carries a water jug around campus. He quit drinking things that have sugar in it. I mean. He's sacrificed. And when you sacrifice and work as hard as he's worked, your body changes, your game changes, your mindset changes, and thus you have even more confidence. But it's confidence that's not false confidence, George. It's earned. And I think that that's what's neat about you, Tommy's, you know, development and growth as a player, uh, is that he truly has earned it. I don't even – I can't even put my finger on what it really was. I just think ultimately – if he was watching the game, our toughness and our eagerness on defense was just not there. They, uh, I think Coach said they shot like up, uh, above 50%. Usually, if, if an uh, opponent shoot over 50%, we lose, but we won. So we just got to correct it and practice and get ready for the next game. Um, was there any lack of focus there? Would you put it in that? Uh, I mean, I, I guess you could say a lack of focus. We just wasn't there mentally, yeah, uh, like like we needed to be in the second half. So yeah, lack of focus, you could say that. Daniel's three, how big was that in the scheme of things? Oh, it was very big. As soon as he shot, I knew it was good. Uh, oh, it was just a, a big shot from a big time player. So he nailed it. I, we, I felt a little more comfortable after that, but you know, it was just a big time shot from a big time player. What was the difference in you in the second half? You you had seven points in the first half, and it seemed you amped up your game a little bit. Uh, I just I seen I, I when coach called the plays and he gave me the ball. I just didn't want to force it, and a lot of openings just opened up. It wasn't really too much to it. Like the last few games, I just been forcing a lot, but I just just took what the defense gave me. You talked about your guys, you guys' defense. It seemed especially, I don't want to call it soft, but yeah. it was suspect. No, it was soft. Interior. It was soft. Especially in the interior. Yeah, it was soft. It was very soft. Explanation? No, nah, I just think, <laughs> 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 no, nah, I just think we just got to correct it. Our guys got to get tougher. Uh, simple as that. They just got to get tougher. It was, they were just soft. They were just soft. And I'm part of the team too, so it's me. So we, we were soft. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I always knew we was going to bounce back. And individually, um, I mean, I put, I put in a lot of work during the summer, so. It just gave me the utmost confidence, so, yeah. Malcolm, were you in that zone in the first half? Yeah, just got in the zone. I'm just working on trying to get more consistent with it, but, you know, so I just got to keep shooting the ball and staying aggressive. That's when I play my best, I feel like. Did you do anything different on you in the second half? Oh, yeah, they definitely started to guard me off the ball screen uh, different than they did in the first half. First half, they were, you know, going over, and I was giving me open jumpers. Well, in the second half, they switched, and it was, you know, a little bit – more, you know, ball pressure, but um, I just have to stay aggressive. You know, the shots were there. I just have to stay aggressive and, you know, continue to stay consistent and knock those down. Well, you Malcolm, too. Go ahead, George. Malcolm, what, sorry. No problem. Daniel, what was going through your head on that three with, yeah. with 30 seconds left? Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh, Malcolm passed it to me. I just knocked it down. That's rhythm. We do that. We work that in practice day, all the time, like, every day. Time, so yeah. that was just a money play. Like, that was something that we work in practice consistently. So. Yeah. There wasn't really no thought to it. It was just muscle memory by the, at that point. Mm -hmm. it, just, it seemed like everybody was hitting everything tonight uh, on both sides. You know, the, the shooting percentage was a little bit surpri very surprising on both sides. So was it just uh, just getting good looks, or was it, uh, especially in the second half, just getting the ball inside? Uh, and was, I mean... And you still had the, and you still had, but you had the lead almost the full second half. Mm -hmm. Just we talk about that for a moment. Um, 
I don't know. I say, I say we executed. Was there any, well, uh, let me put it, let yeah. me go a little different. Was there any concern when they started to chip away? Early in the second half, they, and then they got it to four mm -hmm. in the final moments, and then uh, your, the conventional three, and then the three to put the game away, uh, Daniel. Is it just, was it just, again, them just shooting better than, uh, shooting better to get it done? To keep them close in your mind? I think, um, yeah, in the yeah. second half, I felt like they just were way more aggressive yeah. towards going to the rim. Our defense, and, um, was, our defense wasn't that good in, in yeah, the second we, half. Seemed like you had no answer for, uh, being honest, Dixon just totally carried them in the second half. Mm -hmm. And so did uh, Chapman. I mean, they were just outstanding. They were, they were just simply outstanding on their, on their point of view. Uh, uh, um, go ahead. I'm sorry. I just felt like you know he's more aggressive and um, and also we just didn't have that same energy um, we had in the first half you know on the defensive end especially I think we we kind of fall into the trap of you know when we have a lead of, of you know putting our foot off the pedal but um, I feel like you know that's just a habit we got to break and we have to continue you know to bring that same energy in the second half for a full 40 minutes and not you know have those little lapses but I'm just proud of my team the way you know we bounced back and uh, we we stayed aggressive you know we didn't let that bring us down. Just a little lesson for. Later in the season. Exactly. Yeah. Still learning. Yeah, we're a team that's just we're trying to learn every day and just keep getting better. So you know, this is a learning lesson for us, and we're definitely gonna watch the film and learn from it, and then you know, go forward from there.